Dr. Johnson here again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a, an MRI scan of the lumbar spine that is abnormal. Uh, this one shows um, a herniated disc uh, or a displaced disc uh, causing leg pain. Uh, so we're going to go through that the way we did with the uh, normal MRI scans and the other videos in this series. So we'll start again on the left here. These are the, the profile views again, uh, looking at the person as if they're standing and facing this way. So this is the back, this is the spine, these are the vertebral bodies, and the discs, which are made of cartilage, are these spaces between. The nerve space again is back here. Um, now, uh, frequently MRI scans will have little things like this that I'm pointing to at the L3-4 level. Uh, that look like they could be significant but actually are not uh, and we'll we'll see why that's the case in a moment. Uh, in this person the problem is at the lowest level here L5S1 uh, where about 45 percent of all disc herniations occur and as I scroll over to the side here we see a little bump on the back of the disc space. Now it doesn't look any more significant than that one but I'll show you in a moment why it is. Uh, and this is what a, a herniated disc is. Uh, the disc is not a solid structure. Uh, it, uh, it has a ring of fibrous uh, material and then an inner softer material that's uh, made out of cartilage. Uh, this is often described as crab meat. Uh, it sort of has that consistency. It's not liquid, uh, but it's, uh, it, it's fairly firm. Uh, and this is what a herniated disc is. It's a little extruded piece of cartilage that has left the disc space and is lying in the nerve space here uh, under the nerve. And if I go to the other side, we see that that's not the case. Remember here we're looking at the, uh, the uh, cross sections or axial views, and this is showing that on this side, which is the left side, there's nothing. But if we scroll over to the other side, uh, that's where we see that thing. So let's look at the axial images in more detail and recall that these are oriented as if the person is laying on their back and we're looking up from the direction of the feet. So this is the back, front, right, and left. And the spine is here and the, the nerve space is here. This would be disc or bone. And the nerves are these little dots. Once again, the white is water. And remember how we looked at how a pair of nerves moves into this corner which is called the subarticular or lateral recess and that's where the nerve tends to be vulnerable to this kind of disc herniation. So at this level which is L2-3 we see those two nerve roots in the subarticular recesses and they're okay. If we go to that L3-4 level remember we saw a little bump there and, and uh, here we can look at this and say that although that's a little narrower the nerve is still basically okay there. Um, and this would probably not be something that would cause pain. Now we have to put it together with where the pain is and this is uh, in this particular person would not be the explanation for their pain as their pain was down the back of their leg not the front and the L3-4 level that nerve that L4 nerve goes, goes down the front of the thigh. Here's L4-5 and uh, once again we see the two nerves in the corners and they're okay. But Watch what happens when we get to L5-S1. We see that thing right there. Now here's the S1 nerve root on the other side and the S1 nerve root on the right side is right there. So this is a piece of extruded disc material that's not large but it's right under the nerve root and it's compressing the nerve root up against the bone there. And so this would cause sciatic pain or pain down the back of the leg. If we scroll back and forth here we can kind of see the nerve above and below. There it is right there. Here it is being compressed and then here it emerges uh, further down. So it's just as it passes right through there that this thing is pinching the nerve. And again we can see it over here uh, and that's why that is significant in a person who has pain traveling down the back of their right leg and why this is not. So this is a herniated disc. It's a fairly, fairly common thing uh, uh, treated in various ways uh, and that sometimes can resolve on its own. In fact often does. Uh, 